Hi everybody, how are you? Something a bit different this week as we're going to be looking at two different Gretsch jet models. Firstly, we've got the Gretsch G6228 or the green one as we're going to refer to it. And we've got the Gretsch G6128 or the black one as we're going to refer to it in this video to save it sounding like an algebra exam. Okay, first up, we're going to look at the green one, which is the Gretsch G6228. Obviously, I'll put a link to this below so you can go and have a look for yourself and check out all the specs. Uh, it's worth pointing out, though, that this particular guitar, this particular model, is only available in this Cadillac green color. And the full retail price on this is £2,279 in the UK. So let's have a look at the full specs. The G6228 features a chambered mahogany body with a laminated maple top. It has two Broadtron BT65 pickups, as well as a master volume control. It also has independent volumes for both pickups. It also features an anchored adjustomatic bridge and a Gretsch V stop tail. It has a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard and 22 medium jumbo frets. On the back of the headstock, you'll also see it has locking tuners. Okay, let's move on to this one, the black one, the Gretsch G6128. Again, I'll put a link to it, and if you have a look at it on the Gretsch website, you'll see that this particular model is only available in black. It looks very similar to the green one, but obviously there's a few differences. Notably, this one's got the Bigsby and a few other differences as well, including pickups. Full retail price on this one is a little bit more than the green one. It's £2,359. Let's have a look at the specs of this. The G6128 also has a chambered mahogany body with an arched maple top. The pickups in this guitar are high sensitive Filtertron pickups. It also features a master volume, independent volumes for each pickup and a master tone control. It has an anchored adjustomatic bridge and a Bigsby B7PLH. It has a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard, 22 medium jumbo frets and Perloid Neo Classic thumbnail inlays. It also features locking tuners.
So here's what I think about these guitars. It was I primarily I've never played a Gretsch solid body before. Never played any of the Jets, so it was really nice to play them. They are very similar in terms of look and ultimately one of the big choices between these two guitars if you're looking is do you want a fixed bridge or do you want a Bigsby? It's as simple as that because if you want the one with the Bigsby you're going to have to go with the black one essentially. If you want one with a fixed bridge the green one will be the one for you. Where it gets a little bit sticky though is obviously the pickup differences between the guitars. The black one has got the uh, the filter trons, the green one has got the broad trons and I've tried to keep a lot of the clips today quite low gain so you can hear the differences. The differences are subtle uh, but I would say the filter trons still sound just like filter trons should and if you if there's if I was to pick one of these two uh, this being the more Gretschy of the two it would be the black one. However I also found that while I was recording all this, the clips for them, the green one felt a little hotter in terms of output. The black one just felt like it didn't have as quite so much punch in comparison. Standalone though, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Filtertrons. I've used them loads. In terms of the way they look, not only are the colors different, obviously there's a few other differences as well. The green one has that more sort of cursive vintage Gretsch logo, whereas the black one has the classic Gretsch logo. Also the tuners, I wasn't crazy about the tuners on the green one. They're really small and uh, super sensitive when you're tuning up. And I actually, out of the two of them, the one that I had trouble uh, keeping in tune the most was the green one. Uh, although, you know, it wasn't too much of an issue really. And the locking the lock uh, tuners do a great job. Tonally though, both these guitars are excellent. They each have their own character, I think, and they feel great, and they're equally as versatile as any other Gretsch I've played. Okay, that's just about it for today. A couple of things to mention though. Uh, both these guitars come with hard cases and I just want to say a big thanks to the guys at Fender in the UK for letting me borrow these for this video. That's it for this week. Hope you've had fun and I'll see you on the next one.